up you guys welcome back to my channel oh let me grab something real quick now I'm back okay so if you are not some young smooth skin uh, viewer I am 39 years old I have lots of wrinkles that I hate yes I shaved my eyebrows yes I really did if you want to see what that was all about definitely go to my uh, Facebook page. I'll let you in if you're a girl. Sorry guys, you can't come in. Um, unless you wear makeup. If you wear makeup, then maybe we'll talk about it. Anyways, uh, when you become a certain age, certain things start to bother you. Things that you thought you were invincible from, like lines and wrinkles and pores and redness and hyperpigmentation and things that you never thought would happen to your face, but they do, see? Can you see up close here? Look, I have wrinkles. Do I, can you see my pores right here? These right here, these pores, I hate them. I hate them. I freaking hate them. Anyways, so I have some friends that uh, come to me like, hey, Tanya, I really need something to fix this problem. I hear ya because me too. And even though our primer I think is great, all three of our primers are great. In fact, we got this new um, mattifying primer that's super amazing for this in general. There is still a secret sauce that just kicks it up a notch. And that is our setting spray and this combined. I know usually you use setting spray after you're done putting your makeup on to keep things in place. However, the purpose of a primer is to fill in those lines and wrinkles and holes and, and scarring and all those things so that way your makeup has a nice smooth surface to sit on. Um, sometimes your flaws or your imperfections maybe aren't going to go away or be as blurred as you would like them to be, um, depending on the product that you're using, depending on um, the level of, of severity of the situation with your skin. If your skin is not healthy, uh, you're probably, you know what, I should... I should just, I'm just going to say it. If you're not taking care of your skin, if you're not washing it, uh, toning it, moisturizing it, doing those things, it's, you're never going to have the results that, that you want. It's just that simple. And I should have said that to every single one of these people that messaged me with this. The truth is, if you're not taking care of your skin, you could put on 14 layers of this stuff and you're still going to have those imperfections because your, your makeup is only going to be as good as your skin is. Does that make sense? Anyways, let's move past that. Some people don't want to invest the money and the time into a skincare regimen, and I get it. Times are kind of crazy right now. Skincare lines, good ones anyways, are kind of pricey. Um, I was a skeptic too, didn't want to spend my money on it, and I did because it's my job to know what my products are and so I can tell you guys about them and it absolutely has been worth every single cent and I would even yeah I would pay more for the results that I've gotten anyways let's get back to this this is the secret sauce you're gonna spray setting spray on your face you are going to put primer of your choice a good one preferably um, on your face after your setting spray dries and then once your primer drives, you're going to do another round of setting spray. This does not make your face feel tacky or stiff or tight or weird. It just doesn't. And um, you're going to see that your makeup sits a lot better than when you would have just used the primer. And if you don't use primer at all or haven't, this is going to be a complete game changer. Ricky's always in my videos like trying to be in them. And I'm always like, no, you can't be in them. YouTube says no, no kids. Anyways, let's get into it. Let's, let's do this secret sauce. And just think about what I said as far as the skincare goes. Um, I know not everybody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to hear, hey, I want you to spend this much money to correct those problems. But that's the reality of the situation. You know, it's just the reality of it. I wish I could spin it better. I wish I could make it cheaper. I wish I could have a magic pill or potion and fix it for you. But I just can't. But I do have some really awesome plant-based um, skincare products that can drastically improve your overall skin appearance and health. Anyways, let's do this. Okay, bye. Okay, because my house is always super loud, like it was right when I hit record, um, I'm gonna use a voiceover, like always. This is our Touch Behold setting spray. Uh, it is just really good stuff. I guess I don't have a lot of information about it. Here's me trying to find my, <laughs> where to look on my phone, because it's hard to like know where I'm looking. 
Okay, put your setting spray on like this and you're gonna wanna let it dry. Just like this, fan it off. Dry, 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 dry. This is the longest part of it all is just letting the setting spray dry. And my dog got up. My, the dogs think they need to chew on anything paper or cardboard. So he's like, excuse me, can I have that? Can I eat that please? Please, it looks so yummy. Try to not let your dog lick your setting spray off your face. They are for real worse than the kids, I swear. It's like the kids grew up, went from babies to like big kids, and now we have these puppies that are the babies. Now he's sneezing. <laughs> okay, so let it dry just like this. And then we are, I think I used the, yeah, this is our hydrating primer. I didn't mean to grab this one, which is still good. I love it, but that's not the one I wanted to use. So here's the mattifying primer. Super good stuff. You guys, I just really love this mattifying primer, especially if you're trying to um, really blur and conceal those pores and those lines. It's just a thicker um, formula and it just works a little bit better. Watch, here he goes. So I gave him this cardboard. So now the other dog wants some cardboard. So I have to give him some cardboard here in just a minute so they don't fight over it. <clears throat> okay, so then I just did two squirts. Because it is a thicker formula, I feel like it's harder to, to like rub it around. Like with the hydrating primer, I just used the one pump of it and it, it does my whole face. But this is a thicker, um, formula so I like to use two pumps you can do whatever you want uh, I will say that my pores that I was showing you guys earlier used to be way 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 bigger and now they're small enough I can deal with them uh, with the primer and setting spray also you need to let your primer dry even if you are using your primer primer in a traditional fashion like just primer not this secret sauce that I've got going on right here um, you need to let it dry before you go in with your makeup and stuff so that's what I'm doing right here All right, wait till that's dry, and then use one more. Uh, I, I use a much smaller layer of setting spray for the second one than I do the first one. So the first one is a big, nice, um, generous amount, and then I do my primer, and then this second setting spray is just a couple of sprays. Just lightly mist your face. I mean, I guess you can do whatever you want. Here's me wasting time playing with my hair. You guys, I really just need maybe a TV show of my own because I think that I'm pretty entertaining most days. I could be completely wrong. It could be just me. Here's me checking out my my pores and my wrinkles and stuff up close. I turned, you know how all the cameras have like this filter on them? Like it's, it's a default setting. So it's really hard to show like accurate um, skincare stuff or makeup if you have that on. So I made sure that it was shut off so you could see my pores. And then here's me putting on the spray foundation. I really like this kabuki brush because you stipple with it instead of rub, instead of like circular motion, you know, instead of brushing it on, just kind of stipple, stipple, stipple. And it's a really soft, dense brush. So that also helps um, with the blurring effect that you're looking for as far as those pores and those wrinkles and stuff go. It's a really nice airbrushed finish. And I, it's still so hard for you guys to actually see in the camera. Of course, you are not going to get rid of those areas that you're self-conscious about. It's just never going to happen unless you know you have cosmetic surgery or whatever. There's my daughter always sneaking in on my videos. YouTube, you guys, just so you know, YouTube has put the smack down as far as uh, videos that kids are in. So if you ever see that my comments are turned off on one of my videos, it's likely because one of my kids is in the video. That's just how it is. YouTube will shut comments off if there's children in the video. Anyways, um, you're never going to be able to get rid of the lines and wrinkles entirely, but you are going to be able to minimize them to a point that you feel uh, much more confident in in your own skin. I know that sounds commercially, but that's just really how it is. I'm not sure what Ricky was talking about here. 
she's 100% my twin. <laughs> you guys, I always think I should look really, you know, put together and professional and whatever when I come on here, and I probably should, but the reality of it is that that's just not me. I very much look like a homeless hobo most of the time, and I'm totally okay with that. Anyways, here. Jake ran off with um, my tripod and stuff because we are doing um, another video out in the garage here in just a second. So I just wanted you to see the end result before I put in, put on all the rest of my makeup. Um, I kind of went off track a couple of times in that video as far as um, not just talking about the primer and the setting spray being the secret sauce to um, hiding or blurring your fine lines, wrinkles, and pores um, because because of skincare and it is super important. If you would like some more information about the skincare, you guys, I try to not talk about the skincare a lot, um, even though that's the most important thing because I don't want it to ever seem like I'm trying to get you guys to spend tons of money with me on just washing your face. But the truth of the matter is, it's not just washing your face. That's not what it is. It is taking care of your skin. It is the health of your skin. The skin is your largest organ that you have. It is super important that you take care of it. And I don't want anyone to ever feel like I'm coming at you from a money perspective because that's not what it is at all. If I could give you these things for a much smaller price, I absolutely would. But I do know that these products are good, the results are real, I've used them myself, and so I'm sorry, not sorry that I brought it up, you know? I, I, I want you guys to look and feel your best at all times, and sometimes that's going to mean investing in yourself a little bit. It's just, you know, I'm going to compare us to a vehicle. If you get a vehicle, a brand new vehicle, it's not always going to look sound and, and run like it's brand new unless you take care of it. If you're not gonna change the oil and rotate the tires and you know, vacuum the carpet and, and do all the things, your car is gonna look, sound, run, not so awesome anymore. So it's important that you take care of your skin and you pay for all those things when you're taking care of a vehicle, you pay for the new spark plugs and you pay for the oil change and you pay for the new tires. You know what, I'm, that's what I'm getting at. It's it's you that you have to invest your, your money in sometimes. And that's okay, you can do that. And if you don't wanna do that, that's okay too. But just know that you're never gonna have realistic results um, from your makeup or a primer or a setting spray if you're not willing to take care of your skin on a whole different level. It's just the reality of it. Anyways, I'm done blabbing. That's my secret sauce. If you have fine lines, wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, pores, scarring, all those things that none of us want anybody to see, especially when we put our makeup on, we wanna look and feel beautiful and confident, and when we have those things, it makes it really hard because we're self-conscious of them. Um, definitely use my secret sauce. Use setting spray, primer, setting spray. You don't even have to use my stuff. If you have your own stuff that you like, use it. I just know my stuff is good, that's what I've got here, and that's my secret to blurring all the things of being old ladies. We can still be hot though. I'm just saying. Anyways, thank you guys for watching me. My dog is barking. I'm going to go let her out. Uh, like this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel. All those good things. Check the description out below. I've got some good information down there. And follow me on all the platforms. Okay, bye.